And I must add, I'm glad I wore pockets because it seems there's a vibe in the room that suggests I'm going to need to keep my flask handy. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to lie, standing up here in my very sexy pants, I'm a little nervous. Do I have what? A second what? Flask? <laughs> it depends how the evening goes. I have considered a backup. <sighs> New folks, let me, let me clear this up because some of you were going, what the hell did he just put on? It's time for me to come out. I'm a clown. <laughs> wow. If you're afraid of clowns, we run the joint. You're screwed. I... <sighs> Get a room. Thank you. It's now getting to the point where I don't actually have to do any real work, which is good because I beat myself up the rest of the week. You gotta... Okay, Monday nights, I put up with you guys, which is awesome. And by the end of it, I am... I, I'm emotionally raw. I have to go home and just cry myself to sleep, you know, with my teddy bear and just try to get through it. And then the injuries begin. You see, Tuesday, I get up for Cirque out, and one of our performers tonight gave me an injury. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I have a blood blister on my thumb from a juggling club incident gone horribly wrong. Yeah, thanks for that. Seriously, dude. Wait, it gets better. It gets better on Wednesday. I took out my unicycle, because, you know, clown, unicycle, yeah, that, that, anyway. And I've got a bruise. I'm in about six inches across now from kissing the floor. Doing that actually rattled my shoulder, which is a pre-existing injury, to be fair. I'm saying this for insurance purposes. Actually, our insurance is interesting. It's performer insurance. So if I wipe out during a practice, I have to scream, ta-da. <laughs> interesting trivia, maybe useful later. I don't know. But, you know, I, I, I've been doing this, and so a unicycle hit the floor, get up, rattled the shoulder, shoulder, said, ow, so I went to a masseuse. Seemed like a good idea. Met an angry Asian woman who said, I'll fix your shoulder. She took out a wooden stick about this long and jammed it into my collarbone. There was a popping, tearing, sort of grinding, open the doors to where the kraken lives noise. Thank you. It was exactly that sound. I have never actually seen a massage therapist flinch before, but apparently if I bring my dukes up, a little Asian woman takes a step back and goes, we're good, right? We're good. So that happened. Then on Thursday, I managed to, at our juggling practice, re-tear the same shoulder. So by this, by Friday, I get up and I am just, I am freaking injured. I'm not going to lie. I try to rehearse a little bit during the day. It is not working out. And I realize I'm going to have to just man up and own the fact that I'm injured. I'm going to have to man up that I've hurt myself. And I'm going to have to go to the pharmacy. Okay, you got to understand, I just recently turned 40. And so I'm, I'm not looking for, I'm not looking, you're still alive! Eh, okay. Shut up, Jay. So I get, I get through this whole thing. And I realize I'm going to have to go to the pharmacy. And... I, you know, I need like Icy Hot or worse, Ben Gay, which is basically admitting you're old. I mean, come on, it's like, it's got like a picture of an old guy on the bottle, doesn't it? An old guy holding his back like this. So I'm thinking that's not going to work. And then I find out there is a miracle that has happened in marketing. There was this aisle called the sports medicine aisle. And I look at it and it's full of things like bottles of extra strength aspirin. Well, that's very manly. And, and, and something called power ointment. <laughs> yeah, extra strong. And I realize I'm not an old man, I'm an injured sports medicine needing guy. I can do this and so I grab the product. I look at the ingredients, I've seen Tiger Balm, which has always made me wonder, you know, Tiger Balm is like tiger made out of tigers or put on tigers, either way dangerous. <laughs> I don't know. I, these are things I think about. But I'm, I'm going through and, and, I'm, and I'm looking at this thing and, and this one, I flip it over and it says, secret ingredient. <laughs> I like secret ingredients because I'm a sports medicine guy. <laughs> and it says, capsaicin. No, this is awesome. I love curry. I love spicy food. Everything good comes spicy good, right? This is the stuff. So I take this home and I figure it's probably going to sting a little. I'm a man, but it might hurt. So I, I have a couple of, 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 of libations to loosen up like we do here, oh, no. which is to say I have three screwdrivers, two Advil, 
and slather my back. Because by this point, everything hurts. What the hell? Tell me you washed your hands. You're getting ahead of the story. Oh, and I promptly <laughs> fall asleep. <laughs> Everybody's just like, bring it. Russ is going to hurt himself and tell us about it. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> so there I was. I wake up in the morning and my back is on fire. It is like someone has stabbed me repeatedly with needles. I look under my undershirt that I had put back on to keep the ointment attached to my body like a real man. Then it hurt when the blanket touched me. <laughs> and it's neon red like I'd gone to a tanning salon for a year. And I go, ow! A full 10 seconds elapsed before my brain, which is half awake, catches up to the fact that I went, and suddenly, it was like I'd been pepper sprayed. And so now I scream, ah! And I think to myself, this is not good. Normally, I wake up, coffee. What has gone wrong here? Ow. Back of my head starts burning. It might even still be red. Take a look. No, okay, we're good, good. Carrying on, carrying on, just the razor burn. It's very, very shockingly pale. It's winter, leave me be. The unfortunate final punchline is I head for the shower because I've got to make the pain stop. Congratulations. <laughs> Did I stop? <laughs> Did I stop to pee? <laughs> the question, internet, I would like, sometimes you don't get this, and it's very important to the story. Did I stop to pee? <laughs> I stopped to pee. <laughs> I'm not sure I can actually make this face on camera. Hang on. <laughs> you know what the worst part is that this is a true story so I get in the shower and I continue to wash it off thinking maybe the pain will stop lots of soap lots of soap lots of so soap soap finally the pain abates but I notice my ankles are burning as it washes down my body I am neon red for an entire day so great I then go through my weekend more rehearsal, more stuff, and I get ready to come back here where further abuses will happen without a doubt. <laughs> it is at this moment where I ask myself the simple one-word question. Why? <laughs> Why do I do these things to myself? And then I remember. I get to stand on a stage. I get to perform for my friends. I get to do this stuff every week, and every time something lousy happens to me, whether someone talks smack to me, or I hurt myself in an embarrassing way, I can think to myself, yup, that's monologue fodder. I am an old man building a circus, and I am probably going to crash and burn a thousand more times, which means you have so many more great stories, and I will bring them to you here every week at the open stage. <laughs>